I sit here and I listen to the distinguished chairman of the committee talk about the fact that this is an open process and that we got to get to this bill and everybody can file amendments. Well, you know, when it comes to filing amendments to the defense authorization bill, the majority leader is just like me. He's a member of the Senate. He has the right to file amendments. I have the right to file amendments. So that's not the case here. That's not what we're arguing about. What's happened here is the majority leader, for political purposes, has come down and he's called up the defense authorization bill and he's done what we call filling the tree. He's filed three Democratic amendments for his benefit and then he's filled the tree and he's not allowed me to file an amendment. He's not allowed the senator from Florida to file an amendment. So when the chairman stands up and says, we got to get to the bill, well, we're on the bill. And is it right for the majority leader to be able to file amendments and nobody else to file amendments? I don't think so. And that's what we're arguing about today. If you believe that's a fair process and that's an open process, then you vote for the motion to proceed. But if you believe the process ought to be that every member of the United States Senate has the right to come down here, whether you're a member of the Armed Services Committee or not, and file an amendment and call your amendment up and have a debate on it and a vote on it, then you need to vote against this motion to proceed. This is not the process that the Senate is used to following. It is the process that this majority leader has seen fit to follow time and time and time again. And it's not right and it's not the way the Senate is supposed to work. I intend to vote against the motion to proceed.